video I'm going to be showing you how to turn an oversized coat into a sleeveless coat dress and I got this idea because I was at H&M a while ago and actually I got this shirt at H&M um, I didn't even think about that but um, I tried on this coat dress and it was really cute but it was like 50 or 60 dollars and I was like didn't really have an occasion to wear it to, so it wasn't really worth it, and I didn't want to spend that kind of money anyway, so I thought I could get a coat from the thrift store and turn it into one, and I did, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, actually. So if you want to know how to do this, then just keep watching. So first you're going to want to find an oversized jacket that's long enough to make a dress on you, and I found mine at the thrift store. And the first step is going to be removing the sleeves. So I'm just seam ripping the sleeves out, starting with the lining sleeve. Just carefully pull apart your fabric and rip out each stitch. with taking out the lining sleeve, you want to take out the outer sleeve, just using the same method. And take out the padding if there is any. And repeat to the other side. And now you want to try the jacket on inside out. And I'm just wearing a tight-fitting tank top because you want it to be as accurate as possible. And I'm pinning it in the middle because I'm going to put a snap there later. So I want it to be the fit to be as good as possible. So now you're just going to pinch and pin all the way along your body. And you might need help with this, so you can get someone to help you with this. Um, I just used a mirror. So go ahead and pin, and then you'll want to sew along each line. And I also made a couple darts just to make it a little better fitted because the armholes were going to be too big so didn't want any weird uh, gapping so a couple darts will take care of that. So now I'm just starting with a straight stitch sewing outside of my pins because I don't I'd rather there be too much room than not enough. So just sew down all of your seams And once everything is sewn, you're going to want to flip it right side out and try it on just to make sure everything fits well. And if it does, go back with a zigzag stitch around each seam. This will just make it extra secure. And trim off the excess fabric. Now it's time to hem the armholes. So I also did cut a little bit off just to make them a little smaller at the top because I didn't want them to be too wide on my shoulders. And after cutting some of that off, flipping it inside out, I'm just doing a roll hem on the sleeve. So just fold once, and then fold again, and pin, and do this all around the sleeve hole. And it can be kind of tricky since it's round and it's kind of small, um, so just work with it and try to get it uh, as flat as possible, the hem. And just go slowly when you're sewing it, just to make sure you don't catch any extra fabric or anything. And after sewing, you'll definitely want to iron down the hem and all of your seams just to make sure everything lies flat. And lastly, I just add a few snaps to make sure it stays close to the top and bottom. And then you're finished with the dress. Alright, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and um, let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any requests or questions or anything like that. And if you guys make this or anything from any of my previous videos, please go ahead and post a picture to social media using the hashtag P-H-E-R-Y-L-O, which is my username so that I can see it and like it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!